So that mess behind me is me doing this video twice because I forgot to press record the first time. Brilliant. So yeah, it is what it is, I'm afraid, but the formula itself, I really, really love. So I do hope you try it. I hope you like it. Uh, just remember if you're using salicylic acid for the first time, make sure you wear sunscreen, use a lower percentage uh, when you first make this and if you take aspirin then you need to be avoiding it. Um, other than that, let's get on with it. Here's the formula and recipe for a 100 gram batch. Uh, you can reduce it down if you want. I've put in a 1% salicylic acid inclusion, but like I said in the intro, if you haven't used salicylic acid before on your skin, then I recommend an inclusion of 0.2 to 0.5% to start off with and build up your tolerance slowly. You can just increase the water percentage to compensate. This formula also includes hyaluronic acid. I'm using it as a stock, which is pre-prepared. Uh, if you want to know how to make this, then you can see my video on hyaluronic acid, which I will link below. The first task is to dissolve the salicylic acid. This can be very hard to dissolve, uh, but the easiest way I've found is to heat up a water bath so it's warm before you put this in and measure out your propendial and put the salicylic acid into the propendial and mix it continuously overheat in the water bath. And you'll actually find that it dissolves quite quickly and easily, especially at this amount in the water bath. Then you can take it out, set it aside and leave it to cool. Now we'll work on the rest of our ingredients, starting off with the distilled water and pour in your niacinamide. Niacinamide is water soluble and it dissolves super easily. So just keep stirring until you don't see any left and the water has become clear again. Niacinamide helps to minimize the appearance of enlarged pores, improves uh, uneven skin tone and brightens and strengthens the skin. So it's a lovely ingredient to have. Um, I'll mention that the propendial that we used for the salicylic acid earlier is a humectant and also used as the solvent for the salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, our star ingredient, is a beta hydroxy acid that helps to remove dead skin cells and rejuvenate the skin. It decreases redness, unclogs pores and reduces excess oil. So it's good for acne prone skin. So now we're adding our hyaluronic acid. Like I mentioned before, you can view the video on how to make that stock. This helps to visibly tighten the skin, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and it can also help reduce the appearance of scarring, which again makes it great for acne prone skin. Then I'm adding papaya glycerol extract. It helps to remove dead skin cells, leaving the skin bright and fresh. Again, great for acne prone skin. It smooths and brightens the skin and reduces discoloration and it improves the texture of dry skin. Then we're adding some vegetable glycerin as another humectant. And our broad spectrum preservative, I'm using phenoxyethanol EHG and our aloe vera juice, which is soothing and reduces inflammation. It moisturizes and it helps to fight the signs of aging. And then all you need to do is just thoroughly mix all of those together. Then once your salicylic acid and propendial um, solution has cooled down to 40 degrees C or less, you can put that into the rest of your mixture and then stir that thoroughly. Make sure you are doing this at 40 degrees or less or you'll find it clumps and gels in clumps. Uh, ask me how I know. <laughs> so I was trying to rush the video a little bit the second time. Um, so 
yeah make sure you do that at the right temperature and it will combine lovely into a lovely clear gel and then you basically have your serum um, this does include a lot of star ingredients uh, so you've got your hyaluronic acid and your niacinamide and your salicylic acid all in the same serum um, i've been using this uh, for a week the original uh, batch i made and i absolutely love it um, it's made such a difference i do get a bit of rosacea and it has helped reduce that quite a lot um, so yeah i highly recommend it but like i said do go easy with the salicylic acid if you're not used to it um, and just be aware of what you're adding um, i'm not offering substitutes for this formula because i have carefully balance the ingredients uh, based on how they interact etc um, so i'm not going to recommend substitutions if you do want to substitute anything then make sure you thoroughly research your ingredients and how they interact with each other before you add them to the serum you will need to adjust the pH of this most likely. I would go and view my video all about pH, which I'll also link below. You'll need this between four and 4.5 as that's the best range to kind of balance the right pH for the hyaluronic acid and the salicylic acid. If you like this video, give it a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.